Hey everyone, what about here and welcome back to some more Heat Death. You may remember this game from earlier this year. I've actually lost track of time, so I don't remember the last time I played it, but it's a pretty good roguelike deck builder that just added a thing called cheat mode. Now you may be thinking, cheat mode, that's going to make this game easy. Yes, but it makes the game fun. So if you've, uh, if you've seen previous coverage for this game, uh, this has card combinations where you can combine card effects to add more and more effects. Uh, to your cards to kind of improve them, but it limits you to two so a combined card can no longer be upgraded Cheat mode does away with that and that sounds really fun So we're gonna be diving in we're gonna do two runs of this uh, spread out over a couple of days. Don't worry about it And we're gonna get real cheesy and I might even come back for the other factions because honestly heat death is one of my favorite roguelike deck builders I've ever played and this new mode is so much fun. So I guess with that. Let's just dive right in Hey, but this is useful. Blighted Cluster, right off the bat. I like the idea of going for the summons, but they always take so long to get a rolling. Uh, and this this build has very... surprisingly low survivability. But I think I'm supposed to be heat sinking a little bit more. Can't use the summons to block. Yeah, but then I lose all my DPS potential. I probably should have done it anyway, but... Uh, I don't know. Uh, let's see. Ash and shield. And I still gain the ash. Perfect. Why did I do that? Because they're just going to attack all. Bye. Well, that's kind of fine. Heat sink and then combust him for some extra ash. There we go. I should say as a disclaimer, I'm not going to be the most on point with some of my decisions in deck builder roguelikes. I absolutely adore them. Ooh. Uh, let's see. It's actually, let's see what we got as a replacement. Moon with the, with the ability gain five shields, draw a card. Jelly Moon. See, the problem is I still love the idea of maximizing summons. Even if it's a piss poor idea and I should stop doing it. Okay, damage plus 15. Oh. What does that do? I think nothing. Like a flamethrower station. Yeah, that seems reasonably good. Okay, summon Jelly Moon, put it in the back. We'll have to see how it it exactly functions. Uh, let's see. Could do a combust, but no, I'll actually just hit him. So it looks like... Is it giving me shields? Did it give itself shields? Gain five shields, block. Nope, I have no idea. Get the flamethrower station down. Neither of them are on fire, so I'm just gonna put ash. Uh, let's see, another flamethrower station. And then just kill this guy, and then this one's dead. Perfect. 12 dark damage to two random opponents. Yeah, do we want to try some dark damage? Because I can see that being pretty fun. Uh, let's see, 16 damage flying my direction. Put up the jelly moon. Uh, let's see. Not actually sure which is better here. And then we'll go for rage. Rip Moon, but yeah, I, I guess I should have more of them body block all the same. Okay. Well, that didn't work. I meant to prevent myself from taking some damage. So what does the power mean to be addictive since we're a star? Well, we're kind of a star, 
We're a bunch of people piloting a star. Or a planet around. Okay. Let's put those in front. Yeah, I really should probably start using those a little bit. Uh, let's see. Ooh, rearrange, gain 10 shields, gain the buff. For one turn, your fire attacks deal 5 more damage. Shield value plus 1 for every card you own. I mean, that makes rearrange really good. Oh. Oh, but it makes it exhaust. That's a little tougher. You can do heat sink just so heat sink is worth is more effective. Or I can slap it onto one of my cards that already exhausts. No, cuz there's no benefit to this. Warning, it won't do anything. Okay, we'll go for the ashen shield plus for the time being. I'll mush more things on it and we want to go this direction. I, oh, maybe I should have actually just done the regular fight. Oops. Oh. Flamethrower Station, Rage. And you know what? I'm going to do Raging Fire. I'll take some damage for this. But it's worth it. My HP. Set him on fire. He's done. Yeah, I just gotta work on my healing a bit. 12 fire damage to an enemy. Give the planet ash equal to half the unblocked damage dealt by this card. We need that. We need that bad. Oh. At the start of your turn, blank, planet recovers health equal to unblocked damage. So I could do Rage? And then try and buff this damage really hard. Or, what if it's the Flamethrower Station? Would this work? Would this create a station that I heal? That would heal me? Or would this not work? Ah. Like, I want to know. It would create a station that would heal me? Okay, I'm going to go for the Flamethrower++. Plus plus for science. Okay. So, probably start by popping the Ashen Shield. Just so we don't have to worry about it. Get the Flamethrower. And then I don't have enough energy. Sharp plus, not taking too much damage here, which is good. Okay, that didn't work the way I wanted it to. Rearrange. Uh, let's see, could you... Twin Flames, but I think I want to hit this first, then gain the shields. It's hitting everybody, though. Get rid of its shield potential. Damn it, why did I... Just eat that hit. I don't know. Careful detonator. None of these are that good. I'll snag that one. Damage plus two for every satellite in play. Okay, so let's go with that. It reduces the cost. I can't do another. I... I was... Yeah. Should have paid more attention, but it's fine. Okay, so let's do call and just ash and shield out of out the gate. Put the moon back, yeah, because it's not gonna hit me. Yep, 
Yeah, so I kind of want to only do call. Like, I don't, I don't really want to hit this thing. Yeah, I do heal based on it. So let's just tank up and let it heal me. Oh, that's really nice. Uh, let's see. Refresh these. Hell, Rage, or Power. I like Power, and I can combine that with some things. Uh, and Kettle? Kettle. I like the idea of combining as an upgrade mechanic. It is part of the reason why I wanted to play this so much. Being able to combine and upgrade cards is something that I haven't really seen a whole lot of deck builder roguelikes do. And it's such a shame because it's such a novel idea. Oh, why didn't why didn't I do that first? Whatever. I'm making all of the bad decisions right now. Let's see. I think everything else is fine. Okay, there's the call. Rearrange. Can just wreck him, get the shields. Could combust, but let's just do another flamethrower. There we go. I've only seen something like it with the downfall mod and combine and uh, combining as a mechanic, but not upgrades. Uh, there is a Slay the Spire mod that specifically had interesting upgrades in this manner. I'm just gonna move the Jelly Moon to the front. We just want to eat some of these hits. Force it to go through my my other things. I like this healing setup. Okay, let's start with power, then rearrange. Then, we're not taking that much damage, so I don't really need to go too hard on that one. Just go Twin Flame. Because yeah, I should have enough Ash that I can just eat these hits. If I even really get hit here. Okay, another flamethrower. If only that fire damage boost actually provided more fire damage, but whatever. Let's see. Still don't feel like doing... Ashen Shield. It doesn't really help me that much. Oh. I'm a goofus. There it goes. Hey, we actually came out of that full health. I I like those moons that heal me. Oh. Predictive unit, start of combat. Choose one card to add to your hand. Or, whenever a card is played, give two shields to a random ally. I gotta go for a predictive unit, though. Okay, remove something from my deck and replace it with something else. I don't like careful detonator, but I don't hate it. It's a lot of shields. more than an ashen shield. Um, but I think I might get rid of a fry to get tunnel vision is kind of interesting let's go for plot plasma whenever you take damage from burning take one less damage from every three ash or increase your max health by one a gentler warmth is absurd okay now we get to combo some things so if, do we get stupid I think we do. Okay, so let's grab Call Plus, which has already become pretty nonsense, and let's make it better. Because we have the Plasma Moon. So, it's going to cost two, but now it's going to create a station that, wait, no, 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 maybe not, not, not Plasma. Hold up. We probably want these. So this will create a station, um... Create three stations that do a bunch of extra damage uh, and heal me. Is this broken as shit? I'm sure, but if I can pull this off and make it work, uh, I'm going to be a very strong customer, and I'm looking forward to the effects of that. Is it fair at all? No. Oh, right. I get to choose one thing. Grab Twin F Flame Plus. Hello, sucker. Uh, let's see. What else do we have? Got Kettle, and I might as well do... Do we do Raging Flame? Yeah, whatever. It's fine. Okay, so this is kind of rude, but 
I think we might just kill it. Let's do a couple of Ashen Shields anyway, just in case we don't just give it to death. Perfect. And yeah, I'm guaranteed to draw it. Uh, let's see. Any of these useful? Nah. Every shoot upgrade. Destroy Allied Moon. Create a Dwarf Planet. Mmm. We have Jelly Moon. I wonder if I can actually combine that with Jelly Moon so it just instantly creates the moon and then destroys it. I don't like any of these. I guess I'll grab basic turret just because. Alright, go here. So once again, twin flame plus. And then roll ashen shield just so I don't take any damage on the first round. Okay. Next up, I'm just going to tank. All right, so Jelly Moon, then we immediately replace it with a Dwarf. Yep. That's pretty good. And then a basic turret. So I actually have a couple of things that spawn uh, Dwarf Planets, now I'm thinking about it. Uh, let's see. Fire attack, draw three cards, addictive. I'm going to grab Indecision. Uh, ooh, and Cute Trinket. There's a couple of reasons why I want that. Uh, let's see. I'm not going to be able to do both, so I want to go to this one. Where's my... There's Twin Flame. Perfect. And then, careful detonator just so I don't take any damage. Or as much damage. Okay. Actually, we have upgrade. Up, upgrade if I can pull it off. There it is. So now we get the tank dwarf. Could do flamethrower. Could do a lot of things, but I think I'm just going to combust for some ash. Hell yeah, dwarf. Okay. Rearrange. Not that it matters too much. Power. We have kettle, but I should probably... Uh, hit that sucker even though it's not that great. Ashen Shield or Kettle. I guess we'll just do an Ashen Shield. We can't really heat sink here. Okay, there's Ashen Shield. Took a long time to show up, but it's fine. Uh, let's see. Just create a flamethrower. It'll just eat a hit for me if if we uh, don't get it already. Alright, whenever a card is destroyed, gain three Ash. Ooh, that's kind of nice. Start of turn, add the card turret to hand. Eh, not, not as nice. I don't have a whole lot of card destruction, though. Hey! Uh, the developer's here. Welcome on in. This has come a long way. Uh, you have done a great job so far. Man, Mystic Ash with upgrade. Yeah, no. Damage, uh... <laughs> <laughs> That's not fair. That's not fair in the slightest. Alright. Where is my card? I My goal is to make double damage plus have so many effects that it just like really goes off the card or even off the screen. Oh, it might even happen. It probably will happen. Alright. It's so there. Ooh. Ugh. I don't like that. Let's see, I don't have a moon, so I can't upgrade. I could try kettle, but I don't know if it's going to work. Because I could do plasma and upgrade. But I think I'm better off just doing... Rage or Manganese Shot? Let's do Manganese Shot just to hit him, then Ashen Shield just to get it out of here. Never mind. We don't lose them after all. Get him, boys! Uh, let's see. Gentler Warmth. Right. I should be using that whenever I possibly can. 
Uh, let's see. I'm going to move that there even if I take some damage. It doesn't really matter too much. And we're going to combust that sucker. Nope. Didn't even do damage to me. Hell yeah. Uh, let's see. Rearrange. He's on fire so we can heat sink. And ash and whatever. There we go. That's some damage. Uh, let's see. I see you're trying out the cheats. I had to, man. They're just too good. <laughs> Uh, let's see, do we only get a second power? Yes, wealth. Exhaust, shield value, plus one. Now, I could actually do that for another one of these, but I think I'm just going to keep stacking Ashen Shields with wealth um, instead of anything else. I forgot how good the music on this game is. All right, snag that. Uh, let's see. Hit me for 21, which is rude. I could do all sorts of things about it. But I think I'm just going to do Power and Jelly Moon. I'll just take the damage. I don't think... I don't think I'm in any real danger here. Uh, let's see. That plus Plasma. Stack him in the back. And let him go. Get my HP back up to full. <laughs> uh, destroy allied, allied Satellite. Create a Moon. Eh. Eh. Skip. Underhand. Nah. Okay, grab Ultra Busted. Do we go power? He's swinging for 40. Sir. Too much. Now he's swinging for 50. Cripes. Okay. I mean, it doesn't matter. Just send off the hyper nukes. It doesn't matter how much damage he does to me. I'm just going to clobber him into oblivion. Okay, let's actually do rage. Nix's ability to do anything. Do another fry. Not that it really matters and we get my HP back up because these things are stupid. Uh, let's see. And then... I, oh, do I not even have... Wait, yes, I can combust it. Nope, it blocked it. <laughs> that sucks. But whatever. Uh, it does, does it matter? No. Bye. This is the run I was kind of hoping for today. Whenever you attack an ally, gain firepower. No. Whenever a card's destroyed, gain two firepower until next turn. I guess? Okay, remove a card from my deck. What do we, what do we not want? What do I not care for? The problem is I am actually starting to pick up some things that I don't want. Uh... Hmm. More power. Swap. Cool radio station. Nah. Now let's start mushing things together. Um. Do I mush more onto the Giga card? A yeah, moon card in the upgrade would be interesting if it works. What if I do... Can I make it addictive? Maybe. What else do we have? Because I can't... It doesn't work with Kettle particularly well. Because, yeah, oh, Jelly Moon doesn't, doesn't do damage. But what if I do these two together? <laughs> huh. Okay, what is this one? Uh, 
is kind of bad for me. So I guess we'll just do Sparse Cluster. Fortunately, these don't often offer what I'm looking for. So we'll just go this direction. All right, get indecision. So the reason why is now uh, that's addictive, so we get an extra copy of it. So we should be able to just, to just uh, use that card often. Maybe not quite as often as I'd like. Put Jelly Moon there. Uh, let's see. It'll probably die unless I do something about it. I don't. I don't think I'm going to be able to. Just put those two in front. Actually, this might be the trick. Or we just destroy them. <laughs> uh, no, thank you. And cold damage, create an ice card. Nah, I'm good. Okay. And we don't have many hard fights on this one, which is... I don't know, maybe a tragedy? Alright. Indecision plus. Oh, I'm so glad I can guarantee that I just start with that. It's so good. Uh, let's see. I'm just going to do the manganese shot. For some shields. Or did it... Oh, it gives me ash. Eh, whatever. Hey, look at that. Another in indecision. It doesn't matter how much damage you do to me. I'll just fix it. Uh, let's see. I'm just gonna do that. Rude. Power, power, jelly moon. And doesn't matter if they're dead anyway. More boyos, exactly. Alright, refresh. Cute trinket, I guess. I, I need more things to let me combine things. Oh, draw a card when this is drawn, gain 11 shields. That's actually kind of good, but I'll go for reboot. Indecision again. Alright, anything else? Well, we want to keep doing gentler warmth. Not that it really makes that much of a difference. That hurt. Let's see. Let's just do rearrange an ashen shield just to keep some of the damage off of me. He took out my dudes, rude. Okay, well, who does the most amount of damage? There we go. Let's just do an ashen shield plus. Oh yeah, they've got the barricade and they keep keep wrecking my friendos. That's not fun. Die. Uh, let's see. Fortunately, I don't think that's going to get me much of anything. So I guess Jelly Moon, just to eat some hits. And Combust, just to give myself some more ash. I will not take damage. I refuse. Uh, let's see. I guess I'm going to take a little bit of damage on this one. But it's fine. Uh, let's see. There, that's dead now. Uh, let's see. Jelly Moon again. Oh, wait, no. Jelly Moon ain't gonna survive this. Oops. There it is. Uh, do we just wait? Nah, let's just kill the thing. Another manganese shot to add to my deck? Yes? Moon with the ability 6 burning to a random enemy. 7 shields to a random ally. Eh. The gain Ash isn't terrible, actually, in retrospect, but whatever. Oh, looks like it's in my hand, so I can get something else. Jelly Moon! Uh, let's see, but they are actually swinging for me, so I should probably just pop that. Indecision again, gentler warmth, cute trinket, just to get it out of there. Uh, let's see, could do power, but... No, I think we don't want to just hit that guy for a little bit of ash. My dudes. Well, it's fine. We get more. Let's see. Cute trinket. Do we just reboot one of these suckers? Yeah. Any amount of damage I take is 
not that big of a deal. Though it's kind of rude when they do this. Uh, let's see. Kettle, plasma. You can't kill all of my moons. There we go. Thank you. Uh, let's see. Anything else? Destroy a card in your hand. These? No. Another Red Dawn. Okay. Card to remove from my deck. Get rid of Fry. Uh, gain Regrowth? Okay. I'm mean, just want to keep it kind of kind of slow. This deck is getting out of out of hand. No, it doesn't look like they're attacking me. So, I don't know. Let's snag Jelly Moon. I don't have any damage. So, we're just going to put that in the back. I guess I could have actually done Plasma, but whatever. Upgrade the Jelly Moon. Gentler Warmth. There we go. Oh! He actually didn't take out all my friend dudes. Or, no, he did. It just didn't matter. Uh, let's see. Let's move the dwarf to the front. I don't think it matters. Uh, let's see. Napalm stack. Another jelly moon. Nah. If I can skip cards, I will. My deck is too full and I want to be able to do other things. So I should be able to do this one as well. Indecision and... Boy, it looks like they're swinging for the fences. Okay, what do we have? Get a Jelly Moon. Flamethrower. Kettle and Manganese Shot. Just to give myself some ash. Upgrade that. Let's see. Do we do a Mystic Ash here? Or do I just get Plasma down? I just want to eat as many hits as I possibly can. Indecision back and then just careful detonation. And there it goes. Perfect. Uh, let's see. Any of these? No. Phase trap. Whenever something is combusted or melted, draw a card. That actually sounds really good. Apply this buff to all allies. Your fire attacks deal more damage. I that that that's absurd. The only immediate problem is it's very expensive. But uh, using that should allow me to uh, hyper buff my indecision machines. Okay, what do we have? Power Rage. Looks like they're wailing on me. Uh, let's see. I guess we'll just do a Rage. Oh, I could have done Flamethrower in retrospect. It's fine. Uh, let's see. And we'll just get the Plasma out. Not that these guys are surviving. Is that a hard fight? I think it was. Uh, I'd like another Red Dawn, but everything is too expensive. Repeat the ability, create a station... Oh. <laughs> um. Next two time. Wait, okay. Gain the buff. The next two time times your turn starts. Create a station with the ability to fire damage. Oh, oh, I see. Repeat twice. Create a station with the ability, gain the buff. The next two times your turn starts, create a station... With the ability, deal 46 damage. Uh, oh, the only problem is it makes it exhaust. Oh, but it's addictive. No, it's not. Yeah, that's tough. I don't think I want to do that in retrospect. As much as I'd love the idea of doing so, I think that'd be really funny. Um, why don't we do this? Uh, create a station with the ability... Gain the buff uh, whenever something is... Uh, do we want that? Let's use it with Reboot. If those stations have the ability, not you. What if we just have it spiral out of control? 
Red Dawn? Yeah, let's go for Red Dawn. So now we have a Moon Factory. I don't know how much I'm going to actually use it comparatively. But I like the idea of it. A uh, face tap would have been nice. Oh, well. Summon the murder squad. Resummon the murder squad. Uh, let's see. Ooh, probably maybe should have done burning mastery, but whatever. Uh, is there much I can do on this one? Nope, gentle warmth. And then we're just going to make this guy shoot. Okay, good. He's just shooting for me. Perfect. That's everything I wanted you to do. Oh, well, now he's going to just hit everybody. That's less acceptable. But I think it'll be fine. I'm definitely going to go back up to full health, and these guys do a stupid amount of damage. Did we get it? Yeah! Two-turn kill. <laughs> Alright, what do we have? Whenever the enemy is destroyed, gain 25 shields, or addictive is permanent. <laughs> oh, that's fun. Okay, uh, wait. Is this the... Ah, select a card to remove. Replace it with something else. Second phase tap? Sure. I don't use fry. Uh, let's see. Remove firepower from an enemy. Gain firepower. Whenever a card's destroyed, two plasma to a random enemy. Or all damage in your deck because it becomes fire damage. Well, that's not that helpful. Uh, let's see. Actually, I'm going to grab shift. I have an idea for this one. Where is Red Dawn? Plus shift. What if I swap them? No. Oh, that's interesting. It actually does matter. Uh, let's see. Okay, that's not as good as I thought it was going to be. Which is a bit of a shame, but not that surprising. Uh, let's see. Where's my other Red Dawn? Or do I not have Red Dawn? What about Burning Mastery? Oh, that's too expensive. I cannot do that. Wait, what if I did cute trinket? Swap him. So I could actually reduce its power by playing that a couple of times, which is kind of tempting. Uh, just to bring it back down into the realm of reason. Or I can keep stacking things on it so it, it becomes stupid in its own right. I thought I had another Red Dawn. Um, huh. I guess I don't. But I could do this. Oh, wait, no. It's worth five now. I can't afford that. Dang. So maybe, maybe I should do... Uh, let's see, maybe I should do that combination. Because like, I could put on Kettle as well, which spirals Kettle out of control. But no, why don't, why don't we work on making it cheaper? Uh, let's see, didn't you take something that reduced the cost of cards? Alas, uh, that was the last one. Ooh, Red, red Cluster is kind of spooky. Uh, that might actually work for my my minions too. Okay, can't do Red Dawn. I guess I'm just gonna do that so I don't take as much damage here. Not that it matters too too much, but it it matters a little. Okay, do we have power or anything? No. Hit that guy for some plasma. Kettle, move it to the back. Plasma. Keep it in the front. It can take two hits. Oh, perfect. They killed one of the two. Ah, damn it. They killed one of my, my back boys. Well, Burning Mastery? Yes! Die! <laughs> okay, Burning Mastery is goofy. Uh, skip these, skip these. 
And give an ally plus 30 ash. Interesting, but no. Okay, indecision plus. It's not like there's any any real choice on this one. Okay, indecision again. Then Jelly Moon and upgrade. Mostly to tank. You killed my dudes. They're back. Sucker. Uh, let's see. Phase tap. Maybe? Let's do power. Rearrange. Blast this sucker twice just so it's not on the list. Yeah, there we go. And then Red Dawn for reasons. Those little planets are so unbelievably killable. But it's worth it. Uh, let's see. Volcanic Maw. I don't think that's really that helpful. So I'll just grab another cute trinket. Hey! Oh! 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 Oh boy! Okay. So I could do Indecision Plus. However, I think I want to do this. Prepay Plus. Oh, wait. Mmm. Maybe not, actually. No, 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 no. So this way, Indecision Plus is always worth one. I'd love to do it for the Red Dawn as well, but the problem is the Red Dawn exhausts and therefore is not worth it. Um, snag prepay. I guess we could have done power, but whatever. Hit the dude in the back, gain a decent chunk of ash. I'm still going to take some damage here, but not as not as much as I possibly could have. Anyway, Burning Mastery. I guess that's the other candidate for, uh, but what if, what if cheap, but no thank you. Refresh, upgrade, cute trinket, I'm just going to keep snagging those. Let's see, do we have any hard fights? None that I can reach is the unfortunate part. That would be a neat cheat mode. All fights are hard, good luck sucker. I would actually gladly pick that one. I probably should have done power first. But it's fine. Let's see. Reboot. Boost him. Manganese shot. Perfect. Let's see. Wouldn't that be a challenge mode? I guess. It's just the challenge modes and the cheat modes are indistinguishable in this... This game's current state. Okay, don't really care about any of these. There's Twin Flame. But I, I, I can't care. We have too many cards. So as nice as some of them would be, it's just not worth my time. Uh, let's see, ooh. Looks like we've got prepaid and Red Dawn. Put them in the back, I hope they don't die. Alright, and now things start spiraling out of control, which is the best feeling. Put the moon in the back. Oh. He's gonna be hitting my friend friendos. That's rude. Not if we kill him first. Never mind, they're all dead. Rude. Well, at least the jelly moon remains. Big ups. Nah, it didn't kill it. Whatever. Hey, Dwarf Planet saves the day. Uh, let's see. Volcanic Maw, Blacksmith. Sauced all copies of turret in your hand. Replace them with a large turret. Okay, that's kind of fun. I'm going to try Volcanic Maw. I don't know if that works with ally cards. I'm just going to kind of zigzag here. Prepay, could do some other things. I guess I might as well do a pair of manganese shots. I'm going to take damage from this. This is inevitable. But that doesn't bug me much.
There we go. Yeah, I'm a little hurt going into the fight, but I think it's fine. Duplicate all cards in your hand that cost zero. Nah. Shields to all allies. After being retained, card will reduce all attack values in your hand by one. Oh. I'm actually going to snag that. That could be useful. Or it could burn, like, run out and not be useful. This actually looks like it might hurt a bit. Oh well. Let's see, what else can I even do? Not really much of anything. Let's see, gain a little bit of ash, I guess. There we go. Yeah, I get most of my HP back. Perfect. What I really want to be able to do is combo more cards together, but I am out of combos. Time to fight this thing. All right, grab prepay. Now, if I remember right, this sucker is a jerk. And likes to hit everything. It was a little frustrating. Uh, let's see, what do we even do about it? I mean, I might as well upgrade the Jelly Moon. Because I don't want to do Red Dawn if it's going to get destroyed. So let's grab Phase Tap and a Gentler Warmth instead. Because yeah, if it's going to wipe out all my dudes, what's, what's the point of saving? That's going to hurt. I might not win this one just because this, this dude is rough. Like it's almost in my best interest. 180. That still retains, doesn't it? So we're just going to do big ash and shield. Okay, good. It's not going for a group. We get a prepaid. Q trinket for some more firepower, not that it matters. Hit that. Let's see. Combust, not that it matters. Okay, now he's swinging for everything, but it's fine. <sighs> I guess I could have done that a little bit better, but whatever. I guess I'm just going to do that. Not that it's going to save any of them, but we do enough damage that we're back up to full health. And I think we get our crew again, and then again again. Ashen Shield Plus, get that out of the picture. There we go. Legitimately, like, even with all of my cheeseball magic, I still was in uh, a reasonable amount of danger. That bass boss fight is rough, but fun. This game is great. I can't wait to play more of it. I will probably come back to it sooner than later so we can actually try the new cheat mode uh, with like the radioactive storm and human builds. Or maybe just do another run after this. I don't really know. Uh, one way or another, I love the idea of being able to just mush endless cards together to create something truly special and broken. Ha <laughs> ha.